So, now we know how to define a geometric series, what kind of things can we do to play about with them? Well, say for instance you were given these bits of information about a geometric series. Say you were told that the third term was 18 and the sixth term was 486, for instance. What can you find out about the geometric series from these two bits of information? Well, actually, you find everything about it. We just need to think about what this means in terms of each uh, term of the series and in terms of the algebra. So let's have a think. If it's the third term, what have I done to get to the number 18? I've taken the first term, a, and I've times it by r to the power of 2, haven't I? I've times it by r and times it by r again to get to the third term. What about that sixth term? I've done the same thing in that I've started from the first term, a, but this time I've times it by r by itself to the power of 5. So I've done that five times. And from these bits of information, we can actually find everything else out. How's that, you say? Well, if I do this bit divided by this bit, now remember, notice we're doing geometric series, it's all multiplying and dividing at the moment, whereas with arithmetic series, it was adding and subtracting. If I do this bit divided by this bit, look what happens. I'll do 486 divided by 18, and that he does in his head very quickly is 27. And if I do this divided by this, a divided by a, well that disappears. r to the 5 divided by r squared is r cubed. If you think about it, these are three terms apart, so we must have timed it by r cubed to get from here to here. So we now know that r cubed is 27, and therefore r must be the cube root of 27, so r must equal we've now found the common ratio and now I know what the common ratio is I can substitute it back up into here to find what A is so let's copy that out again so it's going to be 18 is A times 9 therefore A must equal 18 divided by 9 which equals 2 I now know everything I need to know about this geometric series in that a equals 2, r equals 3, so if I was asked to find any term in that series I can now do that. And guys and girls this is the same kind of thing every time. Remember r could be less than 1, it could be negative, but it's still the same process every single time. Take a look at the examples in the textbook and they're all the same kind of thing.